and I scrolled down just out of curiosity and it said kill date slaughter date December 29th and my heart leaped out of my chest how could this be how could this gorgeous animal be slaughtered I, I, I couldn't let it happen I was beside myself couldn't be handled. He had had a little history of being a bucking horse. I knew nothing about where Bowie, Texas was. So I, I, I bought the horse. A lot of things. Hi, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, kiddo? What you, what's going on here? What's the matter? What is, did, <laughs> is it okay? <laughs> no, I don't know. You don't like my perfume? or Is that what it is? You don't like the hairspray? It's, it, it's hair understand. products. I'm sure it's hair products. I got I got it. It just, you've got my smell now, I hope. It's hurt that he was in a place where no one was going to get on him and cause him to buck or do some behavior that was aggressive. And what's interesting is that Steve and Tanya had been at a place in Las Vegas where they visited and they, they met some people who were involved with bucking horses, professional bucking horses that they were auctioning off. And they mentioned that there was this rescue horse <laughs> who was a bred bucking horse that they were going to see. And the people said, oh, no, 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 no. You're not going to rehabilitate that. No, no, no. It's 100 years of DNA of, uh, you know, horses that are meant to be bucking people off their back and seeing humans as their enemies and being very aggressive. And this is, this is, this is what's happened to this terribly aggressive, vicious, horrible, vicious. Vicious, oh, vicious animal, as you can see. Welcome to the beginning of the great history of Mr. Big. Thank you for joining us. Oh, and Merry Christmas to you too. <laughs>